Melinda says, I've just switched organizations and I cannot get my head around how my new org uses Teams and locks down so much. I'm used to using SharePoint for storing docs, Teams, or OneDrive shortcuts for working on docs and SharePoint sites as intranets. Now I only have access to files via the SharePoint site and by syncing them from the site to my OneDrive, which is riddled with lag. I was told in a previous role never to sync so that doesn't surprise me. The shortcut to OneDrive option doesn't exist anywhere. So to stop rambling, is there a way to add the folders in SharePoint as channels in Teams? I definitely don't want to simply access the SharePoint site via Teams as that sucks for me. Um, does that make sense? Um, so if I, if I understand this, I don't know if anybody has an interpretation, but I mean, it, you do have the ability in Teams, in your files, so to, those, those folders, to have like shortcuts to document mm -hmm. libraries in SharePoint. Mm -hmm. So it can, you can build that in to be like a native file yeah. searchable within that team, within that channel. Yeah, I mean, off. The top of my head, Christy, I know you have thoughts too. Yeah. I was going to so say, like, you could tab to if. Right. Part of like, okay, consultant time, it depends on what those folder structures look like. If they're folders in the roots of the library, that would be ideal because then you just create a channel in Teams and that would suck it in. You name it the same as that folder and that'll bring it in. Um, You could tab to them if like you had main buckets you could do a tab to those folders in your channel um yeah i'd say first off like the question she's if i'm reading this right is about like converting those folders in folders sharepoint in channel. as channels and teams channels. Like, no there's not N not that specific. way of doing it no but yeah. you can you add for online you repository. Could, correct. You could create uh -huh. you could create different channels if each of those folders has a different focus, different area. You could create those channels and then as tabs access all of that content or through the yeah. file experience add direct link over Thanks. to that folder in those SharePoint sites. I'm, I'm re I've read it a couple of times now, and so it seems to also be, uh, I mean, a bit of user education around what's doing what and where it's doing yes. it, because there's, you know, the fact that she's got teams, she's got channels, so she's got folders. It seems like it's maybe the sync button on SharePoint isn't there, because she's saying that she's got the ability to set up the OneDrive shortcut. So if she's got the shortcut button, what? and I see a lot of businesses try to do the, I want to put that as a as a shortcut and have it go into my OneDrive from a SharePoint because I go, I set up a, a client file. I'm only working on that client file mm -hmm, this week. Mm -hmm. I set it up as, share, as SharePoint, you know, sync over to my OneDrive. So I deal with that and then I just turn it off and I then turn on and off from a SharePoint site the syncing to my OneDrive. So I see them do this all of the time. So if they've got the ability though with a OneDrive a shortcut, I can't imagine why they wouldn't have a sync button because they've got OneDrive on the desktop because they're saying it's going really slow. So they got sync. They have so sync. it's like, yeah, so I'm kind of going, if you've got syncing going on, where's your sync button? Have they managed to, you know, turn it off? They've got it auto syncing for OneDrive, but not syncing for SharePoint. Um, and, you know, have they turned that off as a part of a, you know, a bit of a policy or something like that, which, you know, potentially. Um, you know, yeah. Yeah. So um, I think it's that I want to be able to sync to my desktop environment. Well, it's like, well, you can use Teams. You can actually go through Teams. You can use your OneDrive in Teams as well and maybe use your yeah. Teams environment. And if there are other SharePoint sites, you can add it into Teams, a particular folder, to be able to go add as a tab another another um, mm -hmm. environment or even mm -hmm. in your SharePoint site, you've got add another online, like add another SharePoint where you can put the folder mm -hmm. into your SharePoint channel too. So I think it's just a, I think it could be 
based on what I'm reading, they don't have the sync button for SharePoint. So trying to do mm. other workarounds yeah. is what it sounds it's, like to me. Yeah. I only have access to files via the SharePoint site and by syncing from the site to OneDrive. And she says that's a lot of lag, which tells me there's probably a lot yeah. of folders, like nested folders, because, you know, the more folders nested and you go to yeah. sync. Yeah. Man, you're just that's a slog right yeah, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're syncing. So they're doing the SharePoint SharePoint and then syncing to their OneDrive, which means uh -huh. that I'm putting it as a as a as a shortcut to OneDrive because it looks like they're doing but I mean the fact that they're saying the word sync but yep. is the confusing bit rather than because if they're syncing their SharePoint site to their OneDrive, then they've got are they syncing it to their desktop? OneDrive, Probably. is that which I means would, they've got the sync button, but maybe Just the, the shortcuts disabled, which is a much faster. Well, that that's why yeah. if you if you are going to, I mean, if, if part of this you need to have that complexity of the folder structure and searching through to find the right the content versus navigating through and get to this one place, the fastest route would go in to be add that again as a tab or as a folder in your yeah. file structure you're you're bypassing having to go search through it you're yep. linking just to that mm -hmm. subfolder directly Sub in sharepoint to sharepoint it's so it should speed up that that process it's true yeah indeed and you're better but, to do the sync than you are to do the shortcut she's trying to do the shortcut and i think she's not liking the sync hard to know well yeah. now my experience the shortcut to the folder like going directly to the folder tends to be a little bit faster than syncing down that entire yep. library. Um, but if, if they're syncing just a folder, that's a little different, you know, rather than it's yeah. it's a lot faster to do just faster. The sh yeah. a shortcut. But yeah. So let's bring that up too. Yeah, if you could just target specific sub or sub, sub, sub or sub, 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 sub folders, not the whole library. Yeah. That'll be a little bit better. Um, and Melinda, I will say, I don't think it's just you. You've probably got other people that aren't enjoying this process unless they don't know any better. <laughs> but you've seen better, so you know it could be better. So I'm sure it's very frustrating. And education, sometimes, you know, you go back to the, if you really understand the nature of what it's supposed to do, how fast it is, have a chat yeah. with your help desk and your IT team and support team and show them, show them other ways that organisations have actually been using it and how it can speed up and what that process actually looks like if you understand the ecosystem fairly well. Um, they might then have the use case for it or they might be able to explain why a particular feature is actually off and yep. what they're trying to do and yep. what they've set up as a workaround to do what you want to do and reach out. Yeah. And there could be security fears, but there's good documentation out there to kind of help put those those fears to ease. I think sure. another thinking this, too, is that, yeah, I mean, it's a like the majority of work that I do when I'm on the road, when I'm using my laptop, I'm generally I try to do I front load the work that I know that needs to happen during the week while I'm on the road. So I'm not trying to do that remote and run into these scenarios. I mean, when yeah. I see that people are trying to sync down something from the cloud down to their OneDrive, it's because they're going to be working offline, doing other things. So, um, you know, I, I, again, this would be the, it depends part of it. Like, what are you mm -hmm. really trying to do? If you're not working offline, working remotely that way, then, but just used to going and working inside of your OneDrive, um, like, uh, it'll be a part of the what she says is I'm having to access my SharePoint through Teams. Yeah, sh Teams is SharePoint. That's the whole back end. Yeah. So yeah. You're, yep. you're, I'm going to age myself here again, but your your hand <laughs> is in the bowl of palm olive. You're already soaking in it. Um, so, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I, I don't. In the bowl of what? <laughs> Oh, palm olive. olive, palm olive. Oh, palm olive, right? I'm like, going, so what? Commercial. The accent through Come on. I'm, I'm having know, my nails. Like... I'm having my cuticles cleaned by Madge, and she has my <laughs> hand soaking in dishwater. Yeah. The dishwasher soap. Yep. yep. It took me a moment with the accent. I'm going, what have you got your hand in? I was a little worried there for a second. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I'm glad you remember. I only have access hand. to the files via the SharePoint site by syncing. Yep. So the sync button. So maybe just 
open the SharePoint site as a SharePoint site instead of trying to do that sync and just go directly to the source. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's so saying she's got it in one sentence, but then not got it, but then the next sentence has got it. So that's why it gets a little confusing. It's like, okay, yeah. I think maybe some education around yeah. you know, sync and yeah. and shared uh, shortcuts and where your files are actually sitting and how they sit. Yeah is probably the biggest thing um is you know watch it watch a little better at what's going on as you do yeah. all of these functions yeah. and what does it mean yeah i would say go to the files tab open in sharepoint and just live there yeah it'd probably be a lot a lot faster just become one with the site this is a great example <laughs> it's a great case study and why change is so hard because yeah. you know melinda's used to working that way and now all of that has changed and it's i mean it's it's not really changed. I mean, where the data is and the things there, but so her, but her workflow has been altered and she just mm -hmm. needs to adjust that new way of working. I mean, again, if I'm going back to the same folders, whatever in SharePoint, you can have a shortcut just to the SharePoint site directly. But again, mm -hmm. if, if the, all the, the work I'm doing with my team and my org is in teams, that's where I would put the shortcut, the tab, the file, the direct jump over there, just to yep. streamline that process. But and just a shout out for Teams, Melinda. Just and it depends on who has the power to do this in your organization, because a lot of times you're stuck using, and other people aren't willing to listen to to the change. But fewer folders, more channels, could help this scenario quite a bit, because then yep. your channels would be organizing those files by the topic and the conversations you all are having around those files. So just food for thought there. Not sure if it's applicable in this situation or not. We love creating more work for people. Go yes. redesign yes, your information architecture, Melissa. Do it, uh, Melinda. Top to it. bottom. <laughs> I mean, it could also be that they don't actually have OneDrive. It's not syncing to the desktop at all. They might have gone, oh, mm -hmm. we're not having any local sync. Because I'm looking at it again, I've you know, read it again. It's like, if there's not the sync, is it they've not got the sync on the desktop? I think we're missing maybe a piece of information. Okay. Maybe they can't do it from their desktop and they Some have to Some organizations turn that off because they don't want people taking yeah. the, the content locally. They want yeah. it all out in the cloud. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that's right. So, you know, it could be that, and that's maybe what's that missing piece there because I'm not seeing it talk about the sync to the desktop where the frustration the is coming in so and yeah, if it's not yeah. there then they have to live then they're better off just to go all through teams because you got your your files app you know do your OneDrive and do everything up through teams and mm -hmm. and then yeah that local but you're not going to be able to do the offline well i mean you still kind of can you know OneDrive offline is is available through the browser so you've got that you know coming into play now there are some changes Thank <laughs> you.